Well, the answer to the first question is no. Uh, I don't think enough has been in, being invested uh, to uh, expand and support our transportation system. And by the way, this impacts on other questions we've already talked about as far as bringing and attracting businesses. In the 11th district, where I'm running for Senate, you've got Route 60, Midlothian Turnpike, Route 360, Hull Street Road, both of, of which are very strained uh, uh, arteries, if you will, for the county. And they have to expand, the lanes have to expand because there's more and more traffic. We have a Wegmans being, being built on, three, on uh, Route 60 and they're, they're expanding part of a lane. Well, that's not enough. And again, I think that uh, the federal government, of course, used to supplement. Well, the federal government, the dysfunctional Congress in federal government uh, are so dysfunctional that they cannot even fund the highway bill, as you may have known, heard on the, on the news. So we're going to have to do this, at least part of it, on our own without federal funding. So I think we need to, to look at our priorities uh, to make sure that we at least are taking care of what's in our districts. And in addition to that, all those people looking at this video who might have gone to the beach in the last several years know that I-64 is almost impassable during many days. And crossing the, the Hampton, Hampton Roads Tunnel is almost, during certain hours of the day, an impossibility. So we need to be looking at, again, private, public partnerships the more we increase our, our infrastructure, meaning roads and tunnels, to the Tidewater and to the western part of our state and the northern part of the state, because we are a very strategically located state, the better we're going to not only attract business, but we're going to have better education because people have access to schools, access to their homes, access to their jobs. These are all things that can be, that can be done by the state as well as by the federal government.